Okay, Tina, so you were in my shoes last year presenting this award and you have won it this year. So how do you feel? I was. Last year I was actually back here doing an interview and they called my name and I just sort of dandered out and people were ringing me and I had to sort of run up to the stage. So I'm actually really embarrassed because I was sitting with the laptop down at num table number 22, which we moved because we actually stole table 19s, but we just changed the card so nobody knows. <laughs> so I'm sitting with a laptop, they hear my name and they're like, what do I do with the laptop? <laughs> So what, do you, what did you do to win it? What have you been doing? Um, well, I, I have a showbiz column in the Sunday People and I'm on City Week twice a week and I have my own um, sort of showbiz agency as well. So I, I'm literally, you know, everywhere. There's a lot of places you can find my name. <laughs> You're a very busy girl then. So what's next on the agenda for you? Um, next, to get this story filed before the papers kill me. <laughs> it's like coming up the deadline. <laughs> How sad am I? <laughs> well, I'll not keep you, Tina, but congratulations again and well done on the award. <laughs> Love is just And the nominees are Patrick Kilty. Dermot O'Leary and Shane Lynch. He's on my table. And the winner is Shane Lynch. So, I mean, the big boys, they always have good, good acts here, you know, and always, always um, flying them in from wherever he plays, like Mark Owen and stuff in the last couple of years. And there's always some interesting people here to come and play. But I want to see Four Story. I've not seen him play for a while. And. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure whoever is on the, on the bill, actually. So um, you're saying there you like a bit of a party anyway. So what time do you think you'll be calling it a night tonight? I'll see you in the morning, straight to breakfast. There'll be no going to bed tonight. So I've suddenly appeared, and uh, joining me now, it's uh, Kezi Silverstone. Hi, Kezi. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, you've just come running off stage without Shane Lynch. She I should know. have been with you, he shouldn't he? He was sitting right next to me at dinner, and he just obviously took a disliking to me. I don't know, I'm sad. <laughs> so does that mean you get to keep the award I'm for best TV it, personality? I'm taking it home with me. Yeah. You've got a new album out at the minute as well, haven't you? Tell us all about that. Um, it's called Whatever It Takes. And it's out at the end of September. But the single, first single from the album is out on the 28th of August. Okay. And that's it. What else can I tell it's you? It's going to be great. What's, what's the single called? It's called Nightingale. Okay. It's a beautiful song. I've heard it. I've played it's it in radio favorite. already, so I have. Your favourite is... You know what my favourite is. This is who I am. Yes, which I still play every day on the radio. So <laughs> I do. No, I do. It's not, it's not showbiz. So it's not, I really do play it every day. On, on the radio. His radio station. So her little bank balance every time I play is going ka-ching, oh, ka-ching, yeah. ka-ching. I'm like, thank you, Rob. <laughs> Nominations are for the Northside Graphic Award for the Best Irish Sporting Personality, Alex Higgins, yeah. George Best, yeah. and Darren Clark. Yeah. Jerry Anderson wasn't shortlisted. And the winner, the Northside Graphics Award for the Best Irish Sporting Personality, goes to a man I loved. Mr. George Best. I'm now joined by Alex Best and Jackie Fullerton, who accepted the award for George Best for the best Irish personality. So how does it feel to be accepting this award today? I was delighted to present it to Alex. Uh, Alex knows my friendship with George over the years. He was a sporting icon. And uh, do you know, and it's my new book's coming out, Natalie, in a couple of weeks. And I write <laughs> plug, 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 plug. Absolutely. But, but I write about this, uh, and I didn't shed a tear when George passed away. 
that's nothing to do with George. It's because I still can't believe the wee man as I knew him, he's no longer with us. Uh, but I look back and I enjoyed my time with him. And despite all the headlines and all the problems he had with drink, which we all know about, he was a lovely, soft, caring, smiling, funny, humorous Ulsterman. I think Alex might agree with that Absolutely. in the main. Definitely. No, I'm the same as Jackie, really, you know, I, I still can't believe it. And I'm still, you know, nearly coming up for a year. Just just seems unreal because I keep expecting to see my mobile phone ring. And, you know, he's a pain in the arse sometimes. But, you know, I miss him being a pain in the arse. And, that, and that's, a, that's, you know, the major thing. And then tonight for him to have this, I mean, he'd just be so proud. He really, really, really would be. Because, you know, George was the kind of person that was so down to earth and so lovely that he took every single... He, I don't, don't think he really understood how people, how much people thought of him. Um, and if he actually knew what he'd left behind and you know, how many people, you know, We're just his funeral, way and, how, and the funeral, yeah. the storm and everything, I, d I, just don't, I just don't think he'd really ever, ever, you know, believe it. So, I mean, tonight, for me, you know, for him, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a great way to remember him, isn't it? I think it is. It's lovely, and as Alex says, he'd be looking down, he'd be smiling. And I, I said I was uh, fortunate enough, if you can say that, to work on live television at the funeral. And when I saw the crowds, even though it was an awful morning with rain and so on, I said the wee man will be sm smiling and looking down. He was there down. to see it, because he, yeah. he would not but even he would believe be, it. He'd been looking down, be Alex, that. and saying, hey, I can sell, still sell tickets. I yeah. can still put bums in seats. But... Uh, Alex has given this to me, and I will pass this on to Dickie and the family, whom I know very well, and they'll be very proud. As That's well. great. Well, here, Jackie, tell us about you yourself. Now, I know you were coming from heart surgery. How are you feeling? I'm great. Yeah, I was just saying to Alex, uh, uh, my surgery is nearly two years. Next month, it'll be two years. I've been fine. I've done everything they asked me to do, uh, healthy eating, exercise, and so on. And I just said to Alex, uh, no smoking. I haven't smoked for two years. And I said to Alex, my life would be perfect if I could smoke. No, I'm only joking. I, I just miss them occasionally. But uh, I'm fine. And to get back to work, it helped me mentally to have a target to get back to work and to commentate and uh, do the things that I enjoy. And I just have this much stress now, not that much. <laughs> So it's great to be back. So you'll still be ticking on then? I'll still be ticking on. The viewers are so sad that, <laughs> that I might work for another 20 years, but I'm, gr I'm just delighted to be back. And I'm grateful to the man above who's looking after George that uh, I'm back and uh, I thank him for my health. And it's just great to be working again. <laughs> And, and we've just won the award. And they tell us all about us winning the award here. It's a lovely Mr. Robin Elegant. Robin Elegant, good, 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 good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And well done. I congratulate you. I'm looking at the camera. Yes, Robin, indeed. It was great for us to win the award because Dave and I have worked very hard. Haven't yes, you, over the whole year, Robin, we worked very hard. And it was difficult to do the show without you. With you. I agree. No, it was difficult to do the show. But can we dedicate a slight corner of this award? The broken ship. bit. No, the it's broken, broken anyway. Can, can I have that corner there? It's all chip. In fact, it's very tacky. It's lovely. Thank you to the big buzz. Oh, and hold that. It's the only time you hold the show for the best radio breakfast award. Oh, bye, Robin. <laughs> Who were they? Who were they? Who were they? Who were they? <laughs>